Hi, thanks for stopping by. Come on in, I'm just working on the house. Let me show you my latest project. This is my bedroom with its 27 year old rug. I'm sure it's full of dust mites. I can't stand it another minute. I'm gonna rip it out right now. The problem is I've got all this furniture in here and no place to put it. So I'm gonna move it as I go. I know that there are hardwood floors under here. I just don't know how good they look. So, here we go. Well, here's the floor. It's a hardwood floor and it's very paint spattered and beat up. It's gonna need a lot of TLC. this rug in pieces. Some of it it's ripping real easy too. That way it's more manageable for me to handle. Just cut that. My razor blade tool. Works great. Here's a piece of rug. Up and we'll get it out of here. Are you going? No, you're just helping me. Some areas of the rug have these staples that are really sharp. So what I'm doing is cutting them out so that when I move the rug to get rid of it, I don't get stabbed with them. This is a tack puller, and I also use pliers to pull out staples from the floor. I'm just gonna keep cleaning as I go. Keep the floor safe. My toolbox, so move around things and not lose them. And there's this tack board. I always hate this stuff. This is dangerous stuff. Try to get under that where the nails are. Just it's coming up easy. I'm putting the pieces of this tack board in between the old padding that was torn out. So I just feel like it makes it less dangerous to dispose of and it won't rip through the trash bags. Here, it's a little better. Oh, what's going on up here? We've got a little um, carpet removal. Why? Because it's old and gross. Oh, is yeah. Venom? Yeah. Oh. Why? The not up here. And then this threshold piece. Just unscrew that. Wiping up with a little. Oh, there's a staple I missed. This is a little Murphy's oil soap just to get rid of some of that dirt and dust.
We're getting there. Little by little, piece by piece. The challenge is the bed and moving the bed. So for now, I'm just going to work around the bed. Working with my horizon box here. Makes things a little more challenging. I don't want to disconnect it, have to connect it again. So there's the box. And the phone. Now I've reached the side of the room with the heavy furniture. Here we go. drawers out so we can move it. I'm going to need a massage. This old lacquer furniture has to go too, or else I'm gonna paint it maybe. That'll be another project. We should have started this job in the morning instead of at one o'clock in the afternoon. Because now it's time for a dinner break. <clears throat> most of the job yesterday, the bulk of it, but I still have some heavy stuff, the bed and the dresser, so it took me about six hours yesterday, and hopefully it'll be a lot quicker today to just finish it up. You should really wear gloves to rip out the rug. Let your hands get really roughed up if you don't. challenge of moving the bed. I don't have a lot of room to work with here. The bed's still on the rug a little bit. I'm gonna pull this padding out and then see if I can slide that rug. Now I'm putting pieces of rug under the bed so this metal doesn't scratch up the floor and it should make the bed easier to slide back into place. There. All right, Dad. Perfect. Woo. Now I gotta put this room back together. Yay, it's done. It took me about eight hours to do this job. It was a big job, but definitely it was worth it. It feels so much cleaner in here. Now I have the floor to contend with, but that's for another day. I'll spruce it up and make it look pretty without even refinishing it. Thanks for watching.